Hi guys! So a few months ago on Soko Glam Instagram stories, we ran a survey and we asked you what product you'd like me to do an in-depth review on. And most of you selected that I met you. And I wanted to stay true to that promise because you did request that from me. And even though it's not sold on Soko Glam and it's only sold on Then I Met You, I really want to do this video for you. Then I Met You is a skincare line I developed after about a decade of diving deep into the KBD innovations and also really learning a lot about effective efficacious ingredients for your skin and speaking with all of you. Then I Met You is more than just quality skincare products that focuses on a really great experience and efficacious ingredients. I really actually wanted to infuse the Korean concept of chong into this line. And chong is a Korean word. It's not easily translated into the English language, but to describe it, it means a deep and emotional connection you could have with someone or something. And I really wanted to inspire people to go deeper in everything that they do. So when you see this line, you will know that we not only went deeper in the ingredients, but we also want to forge deeper connections with all of you, and I hope that you do the same for your community. I actually talk a lot about Chong on my personal Instagram and on Then I Met You, and I'm so passionate about it that I actually am writing a book about it, so you can know how to incorporate Chong more into your life. Then I Met You is a pretty unique name for a skincare brand, and it's a really sentimental one. A lot of people say that it reminds them of someone or something that really change their life for the better and I hope that you have your own individual interpretation of it I'm hoping that it inspires you to make meaningful connections it inspires you to not take for granted those special people or things in your life I really think it's funny when people say that it reminds them of a Korean drama for me I'm glad that people are resonating with the name and the then I met you team as well we're so excited when people share about then I met you and they share their interpretation of what the name means to them as for our packaging and the color it's not baby blue, it's not blue, it's periwinkle. And periwinkle is a color that I absolutely love. And as soon as you see this periwinkle, you'll know it came from Then I Met You. Um, it's something that is actually trending in fashion and in art. I see it everywhere now. And we even um, get a lot of pictures from you guys of a very blue and orange sunset that reminds you of the Living Cleansing Balm, which I think is really cool. And I love the color because it's personally very calming and soothing for me. When I created this brand, I knew immediately that I wanted to start with the double cleanse. First of all, the double cleanse was my first foray into K-beauty and it completely changed my skin. And a lot of you have shared that double cleanse has changed your skin. And so while a lot of people ask me, why would you launch with two cleansers? It's actually the foundation for really clear skin and I was passionate about tackling these first. So let's talk a little bit about the Living Cleansing Balm. I'm a self-proclaimed oil cleansing fanatic. I've tried every cleansing balm and cleansing oil out there and I knew exactly what I wanted to create when I started on this project. First of all, I wanted to make sure it was a very, very rich and nourishing experience because I think cleansing balms should be that. It should not feel at all waxy or synthetic or cheap. And so really wanted to take it to the next level. Um, and also wanted to create a cleansing balm that really helped remove makeup so you did not have to use a eye or lip makeup remover when you're removing your makeup from the day. And I had to make sure that it did not make your vision blurry or get into your eyes and sting at all. And so I made sure of that. Also wanted to make sure that it had a very nice aromatherapy type of feel to it so that it feels great and it smells great while it's collapsing onto your skin and it's removing all of those impurities. I also chose ingredients like sea berry or aka sea buckthorn oils in this formula as a key and main ingredient because it is such a well studied ingredient. It's great for anti-aging. Um, it has oleic acids and it's packed with omega-6 and 7, which is so nourishing and protecting for your skin. Um, also, it has this natural vibrant orange color because it's high in carotene. So I absolutely love this ingredient. I think it's going to be an ingredient you'll see more and more of in skincare products because it is such an effective ingredient. I also put ingredients like persimmon in this formula. It's a natural antioxidant. It's also personal to me because my parents used to cut persimmons for me growing up and also my family in Korea did the same. Um, so it's kind of a sentimental touch to that. Um, also, 
It contains really nourishing ingredients like olive oil, grapeseed oil, and also contains vitamin E. This cleansing balm does not contain any synthetic colorants or fragrances, has no polyethylene, which is actually a huge challenge for us in the R&D stage because most cleansing balms are formulated with polyethylene. I made it a big point to remove that from the ingredient list, and so it was a while before I found an R&D expert to want to pursue this route. Um, and I finally did and I'm so excited because I was able to achieve the texture and effectiveness without polyethylene um, and a lot of you have shared with me that you absolutely love the texture you think it's completely differentiated from any cleansing balms out in the market so I'm so excited when I hear that because I feel like I've achieved my goal for the second step of your double cleanse I created the soothing tea cleansing gel and this is a cleansing gel that is a mild pH of 6 which I believe is the optimal pH for removing impurities without stripping your skin dry. It also contains rice ferment filtrate or sake as a number one ingredient in this cleanser. Most cleansers are filled with water, but I really wanted to make sure that there was something nourishing and brightening for your skin. The Living Cleansing Balm is more for nourishing and this step is really for brightening your skin. It also contains licorice extract, which is my favorite natural brightener, and it also contains a PHA, gluconolactone, which is really there to help maintain your pores. For the color and texture of this product, I was really inspired by a Korean traditional candy in its melted form called Yut, and uh, the color is actually derived from the cacao and the licorice extract, and it has a very sensorial fragrance to it. Um, it is really complementary to the Living Cleansing Balm. It has a little bit of herbal and citrus notes. The most unique part about this cleanser is probably its very jelly bouncy texture and that's a byproduct of its polymeric formulation which really helps your skin stay hydrated and not strip dry. And after you use the cleansing gel, make sure to follow up with a hydrating toner, essence, and the rest of your skincare routine. So this is the best way to use the cleansing duo. First, you will scoop out a small dime-sized amount of the Living Cleansing Balm. Then you'll apply it onto your dry skin, yes with makeup, and massage away all of your impurities. You'll see it won't leave your vision blurry or sting your eyes, and it'll remove even stubborn eye makeup. It's gonna feel so buttery and nourishing to your skin. And then you add a splash of water to help further break down impurities, and then you rinse thoroughly. For the Soothing Tea Cleansing Gel step, you should have a damp face and damp hands, then dispense a small bead of the cleansing gel and lather it up. Then you massage the cleanser into your skin. The trick for this cleanser is that a little bit goes a long way, so I highly recommend you using water and damp skin instead of applying it directly onto dry skin. The biggest question I get from you is, why is this not sold on Silk Glam? Well, the reason why is because the meaning, the story, and the name behind Then I Met You is also very special that I feel that it best lives alone on its separate site. Lastly, I wanted to really thank you guys for really giving me so much support and positive vibes throughout the launch. Um, I have to admit, I was more stress than I ever expected throughout the process of developing these products and even after launch. I think I had a lot of high expectations for myself and I really wanted to create a high quality product for you guys. So I put a lot of pressure on my shoulders. But over the past couple of months, you have really been giving me so much positive affirmation. I've seen so many images and the art that you've created. You know, I never even expected that, but it has been so, so overwhelmingly positive and just really encouraging. So it has really given me energy to create new products and you will be seeing more this year And I'm also really thankful that both of these cleansers have been recognized on an industry level because they received awards from Hello Giggles and Brides Magazine a few months ago So I just want to say thank you again And I really encourage you to follow me on my journey as we continue to build that I met you by following us on Instagram or subscribing to our newsletter all right, thank you so much. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer below as usual. And thank you again. Bye.